Hi guys, this is Emily Cupelli for the Alleyway Stamps. For today's card, I'll be using the Brain Freeze and Niner Niner stamp sets. First of all, I will stamp on a piece of white cardstock the snow cone from the Brain Freeze stamp set with my archival ink in jet black. Then I will stamp over it the big face with the mustache from the Niner Niner stamp set, aligning the bottom of the eyes with the horizontal line in the snow cone using the same black ink. I will add a coat of glossy accents to the eyes. This will work later as a resisting technique. While it dries, I'm going to color the main panel of the card with the anti-clean and distress ink and a round blending tool. Then I will go over the edges with my Tita Distress ink. Finally, I will add some vintage photo to add even more dimension. I will flip my cardstock and I will color the edges with my distressed ink in fire brick. For the phrase, I used a letters die to die cut the word hey from white cardstock. I will be coloring these letters with my archival ink pad in jet black. You can use your distress ink in black suit or simply use some black cardstock if you prefer. Now I will go around the edges with my black suit distress marker since I want to make sure that there will be no white picking out the letters since it would be very noticeable. I'm going to use a distressor tool to distress the edges of my main panel. This will add more roughness and make the card look even more masculine. Also, I will tear the piece of cardstock and bend it forward so that the back that we colored in red will be visible from the front of the card. You could leave the back in white or even use a double-sided paper instead of coloring it. I will bend the left bottom corner too and go over the edges again with my distressor tool. Then I will add some drops of water to add more detail and make it look even more distressed, just like an old piece of paper. Now that the glossy accents is dry, I will color the edges of the cone with my vintage photo distress ink using a very light hand. Then I will clean the sponge and go all over the cone with it to blend the ink. To color the eyes, I will first add a piece of masking tape to keep the color on the top part of the image. Then I will start blending the colors starting with scattered straw, followed by spice marmalade, and finishing with fire brick. This will add a nice ombre effect to the card. Carefully, I will remove the tape. I will color a piece of white cardstock with the same archival ink and punch some little cycles from it. I will go around the edges of the dots with my distress marker in black suit as well as around the snow cone. Now I will glue the snow cone to the main panel using my multimedia mat from Ranger. I will glue it towards the left bottom corner of the panel, helping myself with my tweezers. Then I will start gluing the phrase to its right side, starting with the edge. Then I will use a piece of paper to align the rest of the letters. But of course, you can use a ruler or anything with a straight edge you may have on hand. For the dots, I will put the glue directly to the panel. 
I will start with the first dot, then I will glue the third one and finish with the one in the middle. Since they are so small, I will use my quick stick, but you can use your tweezers or simply your fingers. On these two corners, I used a double layer of foam squares and then a single layer of foam squares on the rest of the card. I will stick it to a white card base, since I like the contrast it gives and the balance it gives to the white eyes. But you can color it or use a black or craft base. This is my card all finished. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Alleyway Stamps channel as well as my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Remember to visit both blogs to see the full list of supplies and more close-up pictures. Here is another pretty distress card and another card with a lot of different techniques for you to watch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!